talk about some season finales. This week, a ton of shows wrapped up their seasons or their series in general. And we say goodbye to one of our favorite characters on one of our favorite shows. I think you guys know who I'm talking about, so you might want to go grab your tissues now because I think you're going to need them. Hey guys, I'm Sierra McVeigh, and this is The TV Show. All right, friends, so the first show I want to talk about is Revenge and its series finale. You know, I honestly feel like they wrapped up the show in the best way. Emily finally got her revenge on Victoria and her and Jack got married. Plus, I really want that puppy that she gave him as a wedding gift, by the way, because he's so cute. But sadly, we did have to say goodbye to Emily's dad, David. But you know, I feel like they did it in such a beautiful way. Overall, I feel like it was such a great ending to the show. Perfecto. Moving on to show number two, which is American Idol. So we have officially crowned our new season winner, and it is... Actually, you know what? Ryan Seacrest is really good at his job, so I'm just gonna let him take it over from here. The winner of American Idol, season 14, is... Nick Fradiani. Nick is your new American Idol. Woohoo! Way to go, Nick. So next season is the final season of American Idol ever. Wow, I still remember when Kelly Clarkson won. Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Next up, we have Once Upon a Time and that crazy two-hour finale. No, seriously, you guys, my head is still spinning after everything that went down. But it's the last five minutes that I really want to talk about and the fact that Emma is now the dark one after sacrificing herself for Regina so she could have her happy ending with Robin. Plus, all you Captain Swan shippers out there, I know your hearts were totally melting when she said I love you to Hook. You guys, do we seriously have to wait four more months before we get some new episodes in our lives? For reals? All right, you guys, now it's time for the show that you guys voted for, and I'm so happy with the one that you picked because I was really, really, really wanting to cover this one, and that show is The Vampire Diaries. Also, real quick, gotta give a shout out to at Star underscore, at Molly Ann underscore beauty, and at Maddie Sophie for voting. All right, so I feel like I don't really have to say spoiler alert because I feel like we've all known for a while that last night was going to be Nina Dobrev's last episode on TVD. And I will say, as a fan of the show, I loved how they wrapped up her story. No, I'm not happy with her dying, but I love that everyone got to say their goodbyes to her and even Jeremy came back. Yes, I totally bawled my eyes out and I said my goodbyes to Elena. So for one last time, let's just relive all of our Delena feels. Where are my tissues? I love you, Damon Salvatore. I love you too. <sighs> wow, all right you guys, that was so sad. That was a lot. Let's take a deep breath together. All right, now I gotta know, what did you think of Nina's last episode on TVD? Were you satisfied with how they wrapped it all up? Also, go ahead and keep tweeting me what show you wanna see me recap for next week's episode. You could tweet me at Sierra McVeigh or at Hollywire with the hashtag, the TV show, and I can't wait to see what you guys pick. Make sure you subscribe to Hollywire TV, like and favorite this video, and hey, until next week's The TV Show, I'm Sierra McVeigh, and peace out, Girl Scouts. <sighs> wow, okay, all right, I'm just gonna collect myself for a second. A lot of bleh. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you guys, what you guys, what you oh, guys do. <laughs> wow, all right, you guys. <laughs> Were you satisfied with the way? No. <sighs> well. <laughs> wow, all right, well, that happened. She's gone. <laughs> oh my God.